ました。Ten things you didn't know about Yoshinobu Yamamoto。Yoshinobu Yamamoto is commonly known in baseball circles as the best pitcher that Japan has ever had. I know you were in Japan actually scouting Yamamoto. You were there after his no hitter.、Yeah. While watching that, just what stood out to you about the way he throws the ball?、Oh, I mean, he's he's a pro's pro. I mean, obviously. Very successful. The land of the rising sun gave America its first real taste of the phenom this past year in the World Baseball Classic. Who's on the field? Mike Trout and Team USA. Shohei Otani and Team Japan. He teamed up with dual threat star and possible relative Shohei Otani. <laughs> Are Yamamoto and Otani really related? In this video, we'll answer that question and tell you ten things you didn't know about Yoshinobu Yamamoto. And make sure you watch the entire video to see what Hall of Fame pitcher Yamamoto is already being compared to. Let's get it. Number one, Yoshi Yamamoto has won three consecutive triple crowns in Japan. The triple crown may be one of the most rare accomplishments in the sport of baseball. There has only been a few hitters in modern times to accomplish the feat: Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, Frank Robinson, Carl Yastrzemski, and the most recent Miguel Cabrera, who won it back in 2012. But for pitchers, it's far less common. Only three big league arms have taken that award: Sandy Koufax, the most recent. However, in Japan, Yamamoto won three in a row, leading the league in wins, ERA, and strike. Outs each of those seasons. Not to mention, he also took home Japan's version of the Cy Young Award or the Sawamura Award each of the past three seasons. He is the first player to ever take home three consecutive Triple Crown awards in either MLB or Japan. It's easy to understand why the Dodgers have invested so much in the star, even though he's never pitched in a major league game. For today, we introduce the newest Dodger. It's Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Number two, Yamamoto's favorite team is the Los Angeles Dodgers. Signing with the Dodgers has been a dream come true for Yoshi, as he grew up a fan of the West Coast juggernaut. With Shohei Ohtani going to the Dodgers this offseason and receiving the highest-paid contract in MLB history, it was no surprise that Yamamoto followed Ohtani to Los Angeles. At least that was the thought at first. But in his introductory press conference, Yamamoto assured the Dodger faithful that Ohtani's presence in the organization was not the main reason that he signed with the team. He stated, "Through my talks with the front office, it was clear that they wanted to win." It was also the players that bought into this winning atmosphere that really resonated with me. However, Yamamoto did add that because Shohei Ohtani structured his contract to allow other deals to be done, showed him how much Ohtani wanted to win. So when it came down to it, Ohtani was just the icing on the cake. Ma, Ohtani san ga mosh kari ni oka no team o eran da to shite mo mosh ka shitara boku wa ma dojas o eran de ita ka na to omoi mas kedo. Yappari Ohtani san wa. Number three. While some may think Yamamoto and Otani are related, the truth is the two have simply seemed to become good friends early in their Dodgers tenure. The two were seen out to dinner at Matsuhisa in Beverly Hills back in December. Otani has seemed to be Yamamoto's closest friend since arriving in the United States, and with their common background, it's easy to understand why. Yamamoto spoke about the pair's first conversation after he signed with the Dodgers, stating. Ask me anything you ever need. So it really felt comfortable talking to him about it. To be able to play with him from here on out definitely means a lot. One could assume that Shohei Otani had some early struggles playing in America, and it's nice to see that he took the time to welcome his fellow Japanese-born player. This is a duo that will definitely have the Dodger faithful singing, "I love LA." Ma yatto kono ma boku ni totte mata atarashi start line ni tatete na toyu. Um, it was really awesome because today really felt like that first step in that new chapter in my life and career.
Number 4. Yamamoto Loves to Fish A quick scroll through Yamamoto's Instagram and you'll find plenty of pictures of Yoshinobu Yamamoto on the open seas holding up a fish he just caught. I mean, it makes sense, right? Japan is surrounded by oceans and fishing is very important to Japanese culture. So it's no surprise that Yamamoto has found that to be a great hobby for himself. He has shared numerous posts over the years, either with some of his larger catches or a full day's work. One holiday, he and a friend caught over 75 fish in a single day. He will have to find some solid fishing locations in Los Angeles. Another hobby that Yamamoto has, outside of baseball, is the art of pottery. Although, Yamamoto claims that pottery has been much more challenging than other hobbies he has attempted. Number 5. Yamamoto is a major thrill seeker. It may not come as much of a surprise that a guy who throws a baseball near 100 miles per hour is a bit of an adrenaline junkie. But did you ever think that a guy like Yamamoto would risk life and limb to go bungee jumping? Well, that's just what he did back in January of 2021. He rang in the new year by bungee jumping for the first time. He posted a video of him taking the jump on Instagram and the post got over 200,000 views. It's clear that he fears nothing. The Dodgers might want to think about putting a clause in his contract that will prevent him from all this thrill-seeking to protect their investment. I mean, the last thing you want is your pristine multi-million dollar car getting scratched before you can drive it, right? <laughs> Number 6. Not everyone was excited that Yamamoto signed to the Dodgers. Of course, Yamamoto signed a long-term big money deal with Los Angeles and of course, people were rubbed the wrong way by it. How could the Dodgers land Otani and Yamamoto? And while fans certainly felt that way, this was not limited to baseball fans. Of course, opposing teams are included in that category as well. Yamamoto's teammate from the World Baseball Classic and current St. Louis Cardinal player Lars Nootbaar had a hilarious response to the news that Yamamoto had put pen to paper in LA. The post featured a picture of Yamamoto in Dodger blue with crying faces and had the familiar song Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. And this most likely represented the entire baseball community outside of the Dodgers organization. Over the LA Dodgers. I am beyond ecstatic to become a member of this historic franchise. Number 7. Yamamoto is a baseball trendsetter. We mentioned earlier that Yamamoto is the first ever player to win the Japanese Triple Crown in three consecutive seasons. He's also the first to win three consecutive Sawamura Awards in Japan. And he's the first player to ever throw perfect games in back-to-back -back seasons in Japan as well. And it's worth noting that none of the accomplishments that were mentioned have happened in Major League Baseball either. Now, we'll see what Yamamoto can do now that he's in the big leagues. Let us know in the comment section below if you think that Yoshinobu Yamamoto will be as electric in Major League Baseball as he was in Japan. We'd love to hear from you. You're about to find out what Hall of Fame pitcher Yamamoto is already being compared to. So stay tuned until the very end. Number 8. Yamamoto has been studying English Anytime a foreign player comes to the United States, the language barrier has the potential to be an obstacle. But Yamamoto has taken steps to ensure that it will not be a problem for long. After signing to the Dodgers, Yamamoto did his entire introductory speech in English. He later turned it over to his interpreter for the reporter's questions. He has actually been studying English in preparation for his arrival in the States and is certainly making learning the language a priority. So baseball fans can expect to hear from Yamamoto in English soon. By the way, his sister is an English teacher, so he definitely has an inside track to learning the language at a very fast pace. Number 9. Yamamoto has a unique training regimen. Most pitchers focus on their ability to long toss, but Yamamoto does this without a baseball and uses a javelin instead. That's right! He uses a javelin to strengthen his arm! Yamamoto claims that throwing a baseball was hurting his elbow and the javelin minimizes the pressure. This allows Yamamoto to use his true physical gift, which is flexibility and arm angles. That is where a lot of his pitch velocity comes from. Number 10. Yoshinobu Yamamoto has regularly been compared to Hall of Famer pitcher Pedro Martinez. Yes, the 5'10 Yamamoto is very comparable to the Hall of Fame pitcher. 
Martinez was only one inch taller standing at 5'11", and he had a similar approach on the mound as Yamamoto. Both have power curveballs and solid fastballs. However, it's their ability to change speeds that truly catch batters off guard. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Did we tell you something that you didn't know about Yoshinobu Yamamoto? Maybe you have an interesting fact about the Dodger star, or is there another player you'd like for us to feature? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more content just like this.